So the question is, how big is the frunk? What can fit in it? What can I put in there that I can actually take with me? First, let's take another look at the dimensions of the frunk, and then we'll try some common things that I might take with me on a trip that I might uh, want to put in the frunk, and we'll see how they fit. Uh, just to get a sense of the size and how big it is, just to get an idea of how big it is. Now, I know that it is not as big as all that, but it is some extra space that you have available to you, so you can kind of get a sense of some common things that we might put in there, and some of the things that I've carried around a little bit already. So let's go ahead and open up the frunk and take a look at it. Now there are two ways to open the frunk. The first is from the app itself. There's a way to button you can push to open the frunk. The other is from inside the car on the panel itself. You push the button and it'll open the frunk. There is no other way to open it. Now at the moment I have two things in my frunk. The first is a pump that I carry with me pretty much everywhere. So I just leave it in the frunk pretty much all the time. And then there's my backpack for work that I keep in there. So. We're going to take some measurements here. Now, I know I measured it before, but we'll take some new measurements this time, and it'll be a little different than we saw before. So we start with a measurement of 18 inches, then we measure across, and we're going to come up with a measurement of about 33 inches, and then we'll measure the depth, and that'll be about 11 inches once I come back across and show it to you. Now, that's a little different than I had measured before, but I think this is a more accurate representation of what the actual size is. So we're looking at about three and three quarters square feet or so inside there. So let's go ahead and see what things we can put in there. The first thing I want to try putting in is my tennis gear. I have a tennis racket in a bag that I'm going to put in. And uh, as you can see, they're going to fit in there pretty easily, no problem. And I can even put the tennis balls in too, no sweat. So that actually works out pretty well. So tennis racket, no problem. Now let's go on and see what else we can put in. I have a folding chair that I carry with me sometimes. Now this is a little bit smaller folding chair, and it does just fit inside. Now some of the larger folding chairs I have don't fit, so this is something to consider. This smaller one fits okay, so folding chair. Now let's go on and look at something else I have. I used to coach soccer, so I always had a soccer bag, a pair of cleats, a soccer ball, and a few other things I would take with me. So I'll go ahead and put those things inside the frunk. And you can see that the cleats and soccer ball, no problem. They don't take up much space, so I can put them in there. And I also had um, some pop-up goals that I would take with me. Now, this is my smaller set of pop-up goals. My larger set is about three quarters bigger than this one, and that wouldn't fit. But this one certainly will, and I can actually close the frunk with them in there. So I've got my soccer gear in. Now let's look at some typical grocery items. I have here a uh, bottle of detergent and a thing of seltzer. Now the bottle of detergent is actually a little bigger than the frunk. It's a little taller than the edge is, but because of the way the frunk is designed at the top, there's a little bit of a inset in there. So it will actually fit. I can close the frunk even with that bottle of detergent in there. It's not so bad. Moving on, let's take a look at like a paper bag you get at a grocery store. Now the paper bag is a little bit tall, so it's a little taller than the frunk is, and I can't actually close the frunk with that in there. I could take some stuff out and then kind of crush it down and that would work, but I don't think that's the best answer. So I give this one a negative. I don't think it's a good fit. But that said, I think you can turn it around and say something that's softer and squishier would fit if you took the groceries out or you put them in a different type of container, they might fit really well. For example, if I were to take some of the plastic bags you get at some grocery stores, I would be able to fit those in there pretty easily. I don't show that here, but they actually fold over nicely and fit. Now remember, you should always recycle plastic bags when you get them, but they will fit in there. I could also take some of the reusable bags that you get from grocery stores, and those would fit in there as well. I can, they're a little more pliable and I can move them around just a little bit more, and I can fit everything in there. So that's not a bad option either. So if I consider these more pliable types of uh, things, they'll fit in there better, and I would probably go with, it's okay and it fits in there. But that's something to consider, is that if you're using something that's more pliable, that moves a little bit, like those duffel bags, I could probably put a couple in there instead of fitting just one thing and some hard-sided things in there. So let's continue on and look at some other things that maybe we could put in there. Um, let's say I have some ice skates, and yes, I happen to have a couple of pairs of ice skates that I keep in a bag like this. As you can see, I've got them here, and the bag fits just fine. I can put some ice skates in there. A little odd for Florida to have ice skates, but I do own a pair or two. So I have them in here, and uh, we can go ice skating, uh, and that fits in pretty nicely. So ice skates... Let's see what else we've got. I've got plenty of other things I want to try in here. 
I've got uh, my daughter's scooter. Now I folded it over and it should fit. Oh, look, the handlebar is just a little too long. If I were to actually change the way it fits uh, with the handlebar and push it down, I could make it fit in there. So I'll go with. And that, uh, that would fit okay. Now let's think about some other things. Supposing I wanted to put a bicycle in there, like I have my daughter's bike I wanted to put in the car. Of course, that won't fit in there. There is no way I could get it in. So I'm gonna have to say that that's a negative. It won't fit in the car. But what about a stepladder? Would a stepladder fit in there? I have a six foot stepladder here on my floor. I'm gonna pick it up and I'm gonna put it in my car and uh, let's see how that fits. Here we go, I'm able to uh, get her up in there and uh, look at that, it fits right in. Oh, it slides right underneath on top of the batteries. What do you know about that? I'm kidding, of course, that would never actually work. There is only so much room in there. So let's take the ladder and you can see that it really doesn't fit in here. So uh, the ladder would also be a negative. Couple of other things that I might try putting in there. I have a hula hoop in my garage, so I'll take the hula hoop and try to put it in here. Yep, nope, won't fit. Just to give you an idea, so that's a negative. I have a foam pool toy, and it's totally pliable, so that will fit. So what about donuts? I can clearly put several boxes of donuts stacked on top of each other, and they'll fit either direction. I could even fit a box of coffee next to them. What about a pizza box? Supposing I want to get some pizza. I could take a 16 inch pizza box, which this is a little bit larger, and I can fit it inside the front. Now, it actually is kind of a tight fit on a large pizza box like this. A slightly smaller size fits easily, but as you can see, there is actually room for it in here. The challenge is that underneath, there's a little bit of space, so I could put something else under there. So there you go. These are some of the things that will fit in my frunk.